always from the heart of the city and now on demand 24 7 on the chfi website this is the soundtrack to another voyage of discovery and i'm don jackson around the world on the internet if you walk down by a lake right now, even during the warmest part of the afternoon, you'll still feel the chill of the water in the breeze of the waves. Up and down the East Coast, you may not be able to see them with the naked eye, but you can feel the icy cold of an iceberg in the frozen salt sea air that comes in off the ocean. This hour, a ghostly voyage in April waters with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. Colin James with Van Morrison's Into the Mystic and In Sync. And this, I promise you. I'm Don Jackson, with lovers and author strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. In some parts of this country, it isn't spring just yet. In others, it's already warm. But. Get close enough to the ocean, and you'll feel the chill of winter. Just as the sight of an iceberg can make you cold to the bone when it's seen in cold April waters off Newfoundland's coast, it can be one of the most awesome sights to behold because, just because of its natural beauty. Coleridge wrote about silent icicles quietly shining to the quiet moon. Ice seems to magnify the silence of the night, if that makes any sense to you. You would have to be out on the North Atlantic at this time of the year when the night is at its coldest to appreciate this deep silence and the way that any sound, no matter how small, is exaggerated. It's quite beautiful and yet frightening. All in the same icy breath. Lovers and other strangers. From iTunes and CHFI.com Annie Lennox and why and Richard Marks right here waiting and I'm Don Jackson with lovers and author strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com one of the youngest survivors of the Titanic sinking even though she was nine months of age when she was taken aboard the lifeboat and thus too young to remember the tragedy at the time of an interview was given refused ice in her drinks her reason Milvina Dean was quoted as saying I can't bear iced drinks the iceberg you know When one survives a natural disaster, it's not uncommon for it to have far lingering after effects, even if it's something that lies deep within the subconscious mind. Lovers and other strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com.
the Commodores, and sail on. Sarah McLaughlin with Angel and Beyonce and Halo. And I'm Don Jackson with Lovers and Other Strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. In the September 23, 1996 issue of the Globe and Mail's Social Studies column, compiled by Michael Casterton, with information from the new Internationalist, he wrote, and I quote, In 1898, the medium Morgan Robertson published the novel Futility, which featured a new monster liner called the Titan, the largest ever built. It was designed to be unsinkable, with 19 watertight compartments. Yet it sank after hitting an iceberg on its first Atlantic crossing. Unquote. And isn't it ironic that some of the passengers on the ill-fated Titanic, the night it struck an iceberg, and after resigning themselves to their fate, probably sat in the bar with their ice-cold drinks as the ship began to list. Lovers and author strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com Fleetwood Mac, Over My Head, and The Eagles in the Hotel California. I'm Don Jackson with lovers and author strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. Elizabeth Bishop in The Imaginary Iceberg, written in 1946, said, This iceberg cuts its facets from within, like jewelry from a grave. It saves itself perpetually and adorns only itself. It was Rose in the James Cameron contemporary classic Titanic who threw that priceless necklace back overboard from the research vessel as it was anchored above the Titanic's final resting place. Jewelry from a grave and back to it once again. A very long time for that ice to melt. Lovers and other strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. Coldplay and clocks and Amanda Marshall with a locket in the song Dark Horse and I'm Don Jackson with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com The Titanic hit the iceberg 98 years ago last night, but it was on this date that the mighty ship sank to the bottom of the icy cold Atlantic Ocean. Far across the black horizon tonight, a ghost ship sails on a voyage to meet another iceberg. I'd like to believe that somewhere aboard that ghost ship, someone is falling in love again. Lovers and other strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com 
Oh, I wish you well. I hope you will tell all your friends about lovers and other strangers. Good night, sweet dreams. I'm Don Jackson.